Oh, good morning. This is a new video. <laughs> we are in couch surfing house and now we are going to do farming. Farming. <laughs> so, welcome to another vlog. We are going to the farm! This is Kabil Bastu Agriculture Farm. Kab. Kabil Pastu Agriculture Farm. Ma. Ma. Hazur Haruko. Hazur Haruko Swagacha. Yes. Welcome to the farming. <laughs> you first. <laughs> Good. The name of the farm is Kabil Pastu Agriculture Farm. This is the goat farm. Wow. Rambro Farm. 72 goats in the farm. Yeah. This is all pregnant, right? Yeah. This all goats are pregnant. And uh, because now this farm is just starting. Just starting. One year ago, yeah, yeah, you yeah. We just construction. Uh, the construction. So at first, how many you had? At first, we brought the 25. 25. And now. Now born and you bought more? Yeah, we bought more and now it's become 72 goats. So because it's their first time you tell me, they are going to birth uh, born single, only, single, one only one day. Good. So I was talking to the camera <laughs> and I didn't press record so again. So Mbize here, thank you for the tea. He is explaining me everything about the goat farming. So he is explaining me how much they cost, how they make money, what are the margins, about the quality of the goats. And, and it's really interesting. I'm going to explain you everything, how they make money in this video. Good. Thank you for explaining me. Thank we are going to share with my audience okay. your your business model. Thank you, sir. They spent two hundred and fifty thousand buy the land for the farm, build the farm, and have fields as well to grow plants there for the goats. And their monthly expenses are for workers that they pay them 100 euro per month each one electricity 10 euro per month food animal for the uh, all animal is 20 euro per month so you think that is few nepal is very 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 poor so that's why if you compare it to European countries, this money is very few. So the question is how they make money. Every goat depends on his quality. Worth 8 euro per kilo. So they grow babies, they feed them and they sell them. When they are 20, 30, 40, 50 kilos to, for meat or to other farms. There are two jackpots for this business. The first is they have zero risk because 
is risk if the goat get ill and the, all the goats get ill they die they are going to waste their all their money and all their work that they put into so that's why uh, government have insurance on them so if the all the goats die they are going to give them a hundred percent back their money of the whole worth of the goat so this is very very important for a business to reduce this risk and the government is doing it because now they are importing a lot of meat from India so they want to s- stop importing and have local business do for them so the money come back to the country so that's why the country is giving that benefit and the second jackpot is that they buy cheap quality co- goats before I mentioned quality so the goats are 50% good let's say so they put them with one man a hundred percent good quality and they have babies 75% good quality it, it worth three times as that 20 25 euros per kilo so they make money through the quality that they produce along the years better quality so this one now the doctor is here uh, this uh, this one <laughs> and he is going to castration for castration yes from now on the girl can't do any babies So now they explain me this is a man and because it's not the same they don't want to produce like them uh, babies they don't want it to produce babies because they want to produce different babies they want to produce babies from him so that's why they they cut his balls so he can make it was painful but it's good for their farm and they bring a doctor to do it it's good and it was painful to watch but it's good
So this is few thoughts of me for their business. I don't I don't know how much you care about my opinion, but I'm going to give it to you. So as I understand, they are both engineers, two brothers, and they was working in India, in New Delhi. They had good jobs and they quit their jobs to pursue this. They they are too committed of making this a successful business. Also, they have a reason behind doing that because they really want to help Nepal. They love their uh, place and they want to stop importing from Indians and start um, producing in Nepal. And this is going to help Nepal economy. Commitment, why they are doing it and passion is going to determine their success. It's not a hundred percent that they are going to succeed, but they have a lot of possibilities because they have a good business model. They don't lose money or it's not that risk oriented, their business model. So this is my take on their business. If you really, I want you, if you are seeing this, I want you to go on the comments and write me if you like this type of video of this, not sure. Like the video, subscribe, bye. Bye, have a great time. What?